Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hi guys. It's a rainy day. Guys, I've never seen it rain so hard in Grand Prairie before. Have you? Oh, we haven't been outside when it's raining, so we have Oh, so probably in the night time yeah, maybe. So. Mostly in the night time. Yes guys, so we want to talk to you guys about a couple of things right now. First thing we want to talk about is Nat's birthday charity wish list. Now what that is guys. Can you the, see? Hmm? Can you see? I can see. Oh. I'm good. I'm good, babes. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So instead of putting gifts in the wish list, Nata have decided that she wanted to do a charity for her birthday this year. So what we did, we started a GoFundMe and all the funds that that GoFundMe generates. I'm not even sure if you guys are hearing me because it's it's really? raining like crazy. But anyways, um, the whole purpose of this GoFundMe is to bless somebody who um, is on their Canadian journey. So it's either you have already started the journey or you uh, intend to start the journey because the funds is really um, expected to help you with your journey, right? So it's not to pay your light bill and to buy a grocery or to pay your rent, but it's to contribute to your Canadian journey and that's our gift to you guys. Now, we want somebody who's of course a subscriber to get this price and also somebody who has a child with special needs being that of course we have a child with special needs that's something that is very personal to us so we want to bless someone who has a child who has a child with special needs and is on their Canadian journey so if you are watching this video and you are in Canada um, you know what it is like to transition to a new country you know what it is like to have funds um, all important funds is for this journey so please guys Check out the link in the video description. I feel like I'm shouting, it's raining like crazy. Check out the, the link in the video description and bless somebody. It doesn't matter how much or how small. Yeah, yeah, Just matter. put something into the GoFundMe so that we can bless somebody with this money because... All these, the other funds will be given to this person. None will be kept at all. Every single dollar, even if it's a dollar, it's gonna be... Give it to somebody. Yes. And I would like to think that we have a very good community. So, show it now, man. Um, this is our opportunity to bless somebody and to change somebody's life. Which is like something that I really want to do, especially for parents that have special needs. It's, it's, as Demar said, it's something that is dear to us. <laughs> so, so, we really want to do this. I really want to do this. And this will be a great birthday gift to me. So, yes. thank you guys. So, that would be Nat's birthday yes. gift. Is allowing her to bless somebody. Yes. Right? The I link is right. Really and we will make it very transparent. So of course everybody is gonna be able to see how much because we made it we made it public. So everybody's gonna be able to see how much money is collected. And then you guys will see um the handover and the exchange of funds and all of that. Okay. So it's very transparent as not saying not not going out of pocket. Even though it's our birthday, not not yeah. going out of pocket. One hundred percent of this go for me is to bless a lucky person from any country it doesn't matter the country um but just this is just our way of saying thank you and just get that fulfillment as well right yeah so check out the link you shout out to all the persons who were on the live with us last night impromptu live thank you guys so much for you know being a part and communicating and sharing your experiences as well but Someone made a comment last night and it inspired us to do this video for you guys and it's really comparing first world problems with third world problems. A lot of persons have been doing videos recently talking about why you should not come to Canada, the bad things about Canada and they're just showing um, all the reasons why you should not come to Canada. One YouTuber even went as far to, as to say that persons are doing YouTube channel and they are only showing the good side of Canada and not letting people know what the reality is. Now, this is the truth, guys. There's no perfect society. And any society that you go to is going to have its challenge. However, I do not believe that Canada is as bad as a lot of these persons are making it out to be. Especially a lot of born Canadians. You have a saying that says, want it, want it, not get it. And get it, get it, not want it. Now, what are some of the problems that, are, that Canada is experiencing right now? High housing costs. That's one of the main problems Canada is facing right now. And a lot of persons are saying that with the high housing costs, it's like the end of the world. 
Not to say that it's anything good because we prefer housing to be affordable and much cheaper. However, that is one of the biggest problems that they have. The other problem that is developing right now is a lot of homelessness. And the homelessness that is in Canada is mostly derived from addiction. A lot of the persons who are homeless, Canadians and a lot of persons, some immigrants as well, try to blame immigrants for the homelessness that's happening in Canada. But in truth and in fact, how does an immigrant contribute to a Canadian taking drugs and being homeless? Right? There's not much comparison. And with that being said, I think those are the two major problems that is faced with most cities in Canada. High housing costs and homelessness and addiction. That's it. Now, one and two, depending on where you go, you might find a little bit more crime than, than other places, but still unemployment, but still nothing compared to the level of what we're used to. But as a Canadian, knowing what it can be and what it was, I can understand how they think this is the end of the world. However, I do not think that's a reason to dissuade persons from coming to Canada because some of us are coming from countries where you don't even know if you're going to be able to feed a child tonight. <laughs> Like crime, even though there is a little petty crime here and there in Canada, and even one and two major crime, crime is a big deal in a lot of countries. Like the walks that you can go on at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. on the walking trail and you can feel completely safe, you can't do that in many other countries. So get that right, <laughs> right? So for safety reasons, most persons choose to move to Canada. Canada is consistently ranked in the top 10 countries to live in the world year over year over year because of the quality of life and the safety um, of the country in general, right? Now, anything can happen to you anywhere in the world, but generally speaking, Canada is a very safe country. Now, would somebody willing be willing to trade a quality of life, better quality of life, Better safety for you and your kids, more employment opportunities, um, free free healthcare. Even though there's long wait times because of um, labor shortages, but at the end of the day, free healthcare, um, high quality of education because of I mortgage rate. <laughs> no, let's be realistic. No, let's be realistic. Would you be willing to trade? All of that for lower mortgage rate. No. So, <laughs> no, safety, uh, safety is one of the one, one big factor. Safety. People the aim running away from countries that have crime, a lot of crime, a lot of crime. Thinking about <coughs> raising their kids in that environment mm -hmm. and knowing that there, nothing can come of it. And you don't, you don't know, right? You send a child to school. You don't so know. Many, listen. So, trade it. Vaccine, <laughs> mortgage rate, everything that they're they're saying is so bad. So bad about Canada. There's and a lot of persons who just trade that. All the persons and all the persons who migrated to Canada as an immigrant, and you are painting a, a picture to say Canada is so bad. Why are you still here? <clears throat> No, that's a fair question, and I mean no disrespect, but if Canada is so bad to the point that you are dissuading persons from coming to Canada, why are you still here? That is a question I would love you to answer, right? Everybody has a different experience, not just in Canada, but anywhere in the world you go. You have rich and you have poor, you have middle class, you have different socioeconomic class and backgrounds or different things. Same as back in our country, there are different classes. <laughs> classes. There's a lot of persons, but they're not in experience as much crime as us. Living good life, can afford to eat, can all of that. But us, average, we're not not, not to just that, us, so the average middle class <laughs> person, you are one paycheck away from being yeah. in poverty. So we are going to lead. Simple. The average person um, in okay. our own country, Jamaica, and a lot of other Caribbean and African and European and many other countries are one paycheck away from poverty. So what are you telling me um, that Canada is so bad that because mortgage rates and the government is forcing vaccine and what else did they say? Food is up, food is up everywhere. Food is up everywhere. Um, the person said that he wouldn't 
tell his worst enemy to migrate to Canada. Then I wouldn't want you as a friend, brother. <laughs> Honestly speaking. Because in truth and in fact, all people want is an opportunity. To give them kids a better quality of life, raise a family in a safe environment, and know that if you put in the work, you get the, get the reward. What more can you ask for? No, there's no perfect society. Everything can't be perfect. So sometimes I go to the hospital, there's long wait times. We're used to that. I don't make come from. We're used to that. Um, I mortgage rate, okay, what's new? We're used to that. In a Jamaica, you're lucky for one of us, right? So what are you telling me? Those are reasons for persons not to move to Canada. If anything, you should be encouraging people to move to Canada so that we can fill those labor shortages and have less waiting time, more family doctors, more um, business opportunities for people who come who's entrepreneur, who's gonna start businesses, more employment, Raising all of those stuff, bring down more um, demand and supply. Oh my gosh, guys! As you can tell, I'm very passionate about the topic, um, and that's just because I believe that everybody should have an opportunity to experience it themselves, right? If it's bad for you, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad for someone else. But the ratio is what we're talking about. The ratio is the likelihood of it being good way supersede the likelihood of it being bad. That's what it is. Choose wisely where you go for immigrants. Choose wisely. Stop go and pack up the same place where everybody else go in to pack up. In English, stop going to the most populated places. Stop. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna uh, face all of those. You're gonna face all the challenges that's possible. The only reason you should go to the most populated places is if you have family or a good support system that can help you transition and help you face the challenges. You can stay somewhere rent free or pay you the rent and you don't live. But if you're gonna have to go there and find an apartment, if you're gonna have to go there and find a job, if you're gonna go there and have to find stuff relatively quick and easy and affordable, avoid it. <clears throat> We've seen it so many times. We've seen it so many times, right? So just be smart, be smart. And as I said, please encourage people to try. Skilled people is what the country needs. Educated people who's, and people who's willing to work and build. And in building yourself, you're building the country. That's what it is, right? So please stop telling people that Canada is bad. Because what you consider bad, what you consider bad is first world problems. In, in third world countries, that's, a, that's, that's like the best thing ever. That's, that's like the best, best thing ever. If, they, if, they, if the only thing that they have to worry about is the things that you are worrying about. Want to, want to not get it? And get to get it, I want it. A lot of you guys who are complaining, come out for your privilege for a little second and go in some of these countries, left your Canadian passport, left your money, left your money and go there and try and make life. And see how quick you run come back. <laughs> see how quick you are back in Canada and so be like, oh God, thank you for this opportunity. Right? We don't only come here for our powerful passports. We don't oh, venture yeah, here for that. powerful passports. We venture here for a better life. That's it. The person said that. The person yeah. said that the only reason and why. And we're not attacking you. No, but we're not man, attacking man. You. I'm you. talking as is. <laughs> and if the person feel attacked, I'm we're sorry. But the facts are the facts. You said that person's only come to Canada for a powerful passport. No. I'm here and, I, and if I don't get that passport, which I'm going to get because I'm working towards it. But if I don't get it, I'm good. It's, my life is much better than where I'm coming from. So. Hey, man, Canada saved our life, bro. Canada saved our life. Changed our life and blessed us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. And even though we put in the work to achieve what we have achieved, we've been putting in the work in Jamaica. So it's not like say we were in Jamaica and being lazy. It's not a case where we were there and be like, oh, no, we just live. No, we were putting in even more effort in our own country. And we're not getting the same opportunities. So when we came here and we saw that, okay, once we put in the, 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 the effort, the opportunity will come. You will get results. And that is what it is. And that's why a lot of persons always say, oh, immigrants come and they're taking over our jobs. We're and they're making it. We're not taking it. We're just doing it. 
<laughs> so instead of complaining, go and do it too. That's what I would say. You are doing jobs that you don't want to do. Exactly. How much how much of you guys are gonna go and clean bathroom and, and stuff like that? Not many of you guys. But immigrants come, they do it, they buy them house, them grow, them live, they start their businesses, they start their cleaning businesses. And then you guys come and say, Oh, immigrants is coming to take over. How? How? Anyways, that's enough ranting. Thank you guys so much. We are now home. We're heading this video right here, right? Yeah, right here. Right that's here. It. That's it. <laughs> See you guys <laughs> in the next video. <laughs>